The primary reason to eat protein for longevity is not just about muscle. It's not just about being stronger. Don't get me wrong, that is arguably the biggest piece of the equation. But when we look at the little nuances of protein consumption, we can start to understand what is happening. And there is brand spanking new research helping us understand one of the most critical ingredients in protein an amino acid that now, based upon a study published in Science, is really being looked at for longevity. So let's go ahead and dive into the nitty gritty of eating protein, eating meat, and what you get out of it outside of just the protein. After today's video, I put a link down below to get a free sample variety pack of Element Electrolytes with any purchase. So if you purchase electrolytes, you get a free variety pack with all of their flavors. So they have citrus salt, they have chocolate salt, they have lemon habanero, mango chili, a bunch of different flavors. These are great if you're doing fasted cardio and you don't wanna break a fast. They're great if you wanna consume something but you don't feel like eating and you want something that doesn't have calories. Not to mention there's a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So you just feel refreshed and energized and ready to take on the world anyway. They're a big sponsor of this channel. They support the content that we create and you checking them out and trying them out helps support us and keep us doing what we're doing. So that link is down below, drinklmnt.com slash Thomas. Now, people on the internet are talking about when you eat meat, you're getting all these different vitamins, right? You're getting uh, B12, you're getting these B vitamins, you're getting iron, you're getting zinc, you're getting selenium, you're get and trust me, those are important nutrients that we need. And I will go on record and say that yes, like when you eat food in its whole form and you eat protein in its whole form, you get those collectively and those have a tremendous value to our health span and how strong and how important we feel and how just like overall just how much vitality we have. And when I had Dr. Peter Atia on my channel, we went into detail for a while about how protein is more important as you get older. Like as you get older, it's more important to protect yourself, but that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about a new study that came out that highlighted probably my favorite amino acid, taurine. And it's not just like, well, I could get taurine from any amino, you know, anything. I, I eat my, my protein and I get a little taurine here. No, we're talking about getting taurine in its pure form, particularly from dairy, seafood, or meat, or even in a supplement form if you need more. Here's what we found out. Taurine levels decrease by over 80% as we age. Taurine is semi-essential, which means it is needed when we are under stress or when we are sick. When we're older, we get sick more and we are under stress more, so we need more taurine. But what do we do when we get older? We eat less and we eat less protein. And a lot of people eat less meat and things that have protein or have taurine in it. So we're in a double bad situation. Because in this study, they gave mice, they gave monkeys, and they gave humans taurine. And they found that all of these species had a decline in taurine, even with taurine being consumed. So it's not the fact that we're eating less protein that's making us deficient in taurine. It's adding insult to injury to something that's already happening. Now, what this study found is that taurine was able to increase the lifespan of mice by 10 to 12 percent, and it was able to increase the lifespan of worms by 10 to 12 percent. They didn't test humans because you can't make them live forever and you can't monitor that kind of stuff for 100 years. But they also found, and you're going to love this, that it decreased age-related weight gain by 10 percent. Age-related weight gain is a lot of times associated with poor nutrient sensing, with poor metabolic health, more poor mitochondrial function. And here we are thinking protein is key just because it's protein. Protein is great. If you eat a steak, it's gonna satiate you. If you eat some protein, it's gonna help you build muscle and increase muscle protein synthesis and improve your muscle protein breakdown to synthesis ratio, all these things that are great. It's gonna keep you from being frail. It's gonna keep, you betcha. But we are overlooking the individual nuanced nutrients and signals that we get from various things. So eating meats or foods that are rich in taurine in a bioavailable form can help us significantly because when these studies, they look specifically at taurine supplementation, 
We're talking anywhere from 1,000 milligrams to 6,000 milligrams, one to six grams per day, having huge, huge benefits. You'd have to eat a decent amount of meat to get that, and people aren't doing that. So I don't care if you can't go out and eat meat, but we need to look at how taurine has this impact. Now, if you talk to people like Dr. Paul Saladino, they really go on about taurine a lot. But even if you have an opinion on him, some of the research that he's been referencing is accurate. It's right. It's like definitely something that we see that taurine is especially available in more rare forms of meat, like what I mean by cooked to a little more rare degree. So the best sources might be things like maybe some seafood or maybe go get sushi or something like that where you have it in its raw form where it's unadulterated. Don't get the raw scallops like me or you end up with a parasite for two weeks or three weeks. But other than that, it's a pretty good option. Additionally, dairy or fermented dairy, that way you're still kind of getting it in a raw form even if you can't get raw dairy, it's gonna be a tremendous source of taurine. Red meat is arguably the best source of taurine, but realistically, if it's cooked, you break down quite a bit of the taurine, so you might still want to be supplementing. It's sort of the same kind of situation with creatine, right? If you eat enough red meat, you get creatine in, but the evidence suggests that more creatine in isolation is really, really good. So here we have taurine and creatine, two extremely important things for energy metabolism and antioxidant effects and anti-inflammatory effects within our body, and we're decreasing the amount of protein that we're eating as we're aging, when our demand for these things is even more. This same study published in Science looked at telomeres. If you've heard of telomeres, they're like the ends of the shoelaces, so to speak, on our like kind of DNA, that as we get older, they get shorter and shorter and shorter, and if they're really short, then our DNA can become damaged easier. They found that taurine did not decrease or increase the length of telomeres, right? It didn't increase, add more length to telomeres, but what it did do is it stopped the negative side effects of shorter telomeres. It stopped the body from producing more senescent cells, like clone cells that would normally start to happen when telomeres got shorter. There was a protective mechanism. And the famous study published in Molecular Medicine Reports that found there was a 66% decrease in oxidative stress and a 73% decrease in overall inflammatory markers. All these things associated with DNA damage and aging all while improving our strength, reducing our blood sugar, improving our insulin sensitivity, and even in this new science study, improving anxiety and depressive symptoms. Why are we avoiding protein? The argument about protein and muscle is important, but the argument about protein and the little pieces of protein and the amino acids in their singular individual form is where we really need to be talking. These things are amazing aminos that do amazing things in the body. And yes, you can get it from a protein shake. Yes, you can get it here and there, and you can get it from a supplement. But you really round the curve if you increase your protein intake as you get older. But who am I? I'm a dude on the internet. I'll see you tomorrow.